So speaking of real estate values, do you think Pittsburgh is going to be like sort of like the economical place to have a robotics company for much longer? Or do you think that's kind of going away, you know, as we get more economically developed? So, you know, it's interesting you ask that because I think robotics companies tend to require a little bit of space, you know, yeah. and commercial real estate has struggled all over the country, not just uh, in Pittsburgh. And I, I can't speak as an expert on commercial real estate, but just from what I read around the country, commercial real estate has been struggling post pandemic because so many people aren't going back to the office. And so I wonder if it will continue to potentially be, you know, somewhat more economical. Yeah, it. I think you might be right. It, it's interesting, though, because I, I have some friends that are, you know, founders and, um, you know, they They've told me about some of the real estate deals they've gone through where like they'll be looking at warehouse space in an inexpensive part of town, maybe a little underdeveloped. Um, like I, I had a friend that was looking at, I think it was the, um, I want to say the Fort Pitt Brewing Company in Sharpsburg, if that's the right one, mm -hmm. but I might have the, the name a little bit off. Um, but when they found out he was had a robotics company, um, like the cost per square foot went up almost by a factor of three because like, oh, robotics company, you've got money. Huh. And they're like, we're going to put in, you know, all this, you know, pane glass and we're going to make it really nice. He's like, I'm going somewhere else. You know? So, so I'll tell you something funny. It was grungy. <laughs> I moved my company here from Chicago. And when I was looking for real estate, we looked a little bit in the strip district. OK, yeah, I could have bought like a hundred thousand square foot building for twenty five grand. Are you serious? I am completely serious. When would serious. this have been? This was, uh, let's see. Uh, I was pregnant with my third kid. So 1996. That's wild. Yeah. So the strip district now, for I mean, that would be like in the millions, I would think. Right. Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you, you would have put hundreds of thousands or maybe even a, a million, I don't know, in those dollars, probably hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in improvements. It wasn't in great shape. Yeah. It had been some kind of distribution warehouse. Like Five grand. I know, right? <laughs> and at the time I thought, oh my gosh, I'm moving a company here. I had three kids under the age of six. I am not going to renovate a building. I know nothing about real estate. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm moving to a new city. I'm not going to, you know, do this. And so we ended up renting a space. But I will tell you, we rented a space. I think we paid $6 a square foot. That's awesome. 